welcome back nick and lex here hey everyone how's it going guys so tonight Woo! <laughs> yes i love it you should i'm very it. excited because we're gonna be doing yes and we're gonna be doing an album uh Tales from Topographic Oceans, right? Uh, 1973, and I think we've only done one song from this album, um, mm. and I think it was the Remembering. Let me yeah. double check just to make sure because sometimes it's... today, today I'm sorry for interrupting. <laughs> today we're gonna do the album opener. Um, the album opener. Yes. We oh, did this was for Alan White. Alan Ooh, White. I love exactly. this album. Yes. Okay. So yeah. So this song is called "The Revealing Signs of God: Dance of the Dawn," mm -hmm. and is two uh, twenty-two minutes and twenty-two seconds long exactly. 11, 11, and this baby. request, yes, <laughs> this request is for Dave. Thank you, Dave, Thank for making you. this because it's considered a marathon. Uh, thank you for making this marathon happen, for sponsoring it. Um, we love you. Yes. Thank, thank you. Because, you yes, much. and I couldn't do it by myself. This is a very special occasion that Alexia is sitting here because, yeah, it's yes. <laughs> so we can't, I can't do yes and not of that magnitude by myself. Yeah, but. exactly. I'm very excited about this because The Remembering is the second song of the album. Uh, this is going to be the first song album. of the album. Woo! Um, and uh, this is the song that comes before the remembering. So who is this request for? Dave. Dave. Perfect. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, let's get started. 1973. Yes. All right. <laughs> um, give me one second and, um, well, enjoy. Thank and you. you guys too. Okay, here we go. It's going to be epic. Epic proportions. <laughs> so this is, of course, after Bruford. Uh -huh. Alan White is on this. These 22 minutes are gonna feel like three minutes. I know. I'm literally, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Marley? No, no sighting of her? I love the water. Reminds me of natural science. Yes. 
best expression Has only to teach the press to reveal passion Chasing latent corners And we dance from the ocean think so far wow, this is <laughs> a trip, huh? for sure one of my favorite yes really? songs yeah oh, I, um, I love it i remember really liking the remembering too but yeah. wow what an album opener the way it started where i was like is the sound even on and then you could hear the water <laughs> and then um john's voice the way it kicked in scared you even just they're so wonderful and then the lyrics are just like nonsense <laughs> yes because now like when he said like 
like penetrations and they mentioned that in the documentary yes, and I they remember. were like what I what is he singing? And what he's is like, he I don't even think I knew what I was singing about. <laughs> so obviously I not guess, all of their lyrics, but so ju- I guess he just used it so it would sound cool. Yes, and he would be able to use his voice in a certain way exactly. that sounds good. in sync with the music. I right. think that's genius. I think too. it just sounded good, and he's like, okay, I like it. And then nobody ever knew what anything was about. So <laughs> it's fun because a lot of bands are very, very strong lyrically, like mm-hmm. Rush, and you guys get so upset when we don't like the Dan pay yeah. attention. Yeah, Steely Dan. By the way, Roger, uh, I'm sorry, um, we got Walter. <laughs> he's like Walter looking, in the house. He's sitting in with us. Today, so. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, this is a wonderful, wonderful song. I love it. It feels extremely Very epic. Cool, like there's like a Chris. lot of cool stuff going on. Very cool. Like the you you are doing the the, the volume, volume swell. swell. You can also do it with the foot with ah, this okay. pedal. Like you do this, you rock it before. Oh, okay. And it's like wee 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 wee. But with the finger, I guess it's more fun. <laughs> but yeah, I'm loving the drumming. Of everybody's on their A game, really cool guitar playing. Yes, and the keyboards Steve. and just everything is so. When cool. when Rick Wakeman came in, it's like okay, the wizard has arrived, I the know. genius. The- and I loved it when he was like, "Oh yeah, they told me to like." I made like this opus and there's like, are you going to put any lyrics on there? No. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, this is like garbage. And then, yeah, it, it sold $11 million. 11, 11 million copies, copies yeah. which is more than $11 million. So that's so cool that he can yeah. just like say, you know. So let's keep going. Okay. I'm loving that you're loving it. I'm loving it too. I love it. I'm, 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 I'm hope you're happy, Dave, and everybody else. <laughs> let's go. a complete trip it's like like you know what i was it's like being high sometimes like it's like so funny because the first 
a section when you stop talking and we put play again. It's like boom, back up. It sounds like a little bit reggae, but it's mm-hmm. not. And I was like, they're just under the sea, you know. I was just thinking, they're just underwater, you know, playing, <laughs> right, right. But I'm not even high. It's just like they just they put you in that. Yeah, and then it suddenly it's like and then I'm like, oh, they're swimming like fast now, you know, <laughs> and like that. Ba, da, da, ba. Da-da. I love that it's like their barber shop, like, it's you like, know, when they're like... What the hell? It's so good. And I love that also John, when he talks, he basically sounds like this. Yeah, I know. Which I is know. crazy. He has such a unique voice. And I know there were some people in the comments like, oh, he's so boring. I don't think he's boring at all. I didn't see I, those. That's crazy. I, I know. I was like, I think he's the most boring vocalist. And I was like delete wow. no 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 we never delete comments <laughs> but i was like how can he say that he's so i mean entertaining for me but i know? guess because he was very like you know peace and lovey yeah. i don't know if that a lot of people maybe don't like that i don't know but yeah, yeah, yeah. i love him i think he's super cool and he's adorable i he's love like... this song very much <laughs> <laughs> okay let's keep going with okay. the underwater Espionage. Okay.
this. How are you ready for this music? <laughs> I've been listening. I've been listening to progressive metal, like and progressive rock, for like ten years, and I'm like, I get it. How do you understand? Well, because it? look, in the last two years, two years we've you've really gotten. We've gotten. I can't like believe this. you've never would have liked this. The uh, honestly, if we yeah. would would have played this to Nirvana, this she would have been. Out of the door. I mean, but she's... Well... I think Onward yeah. was a good choice for yeah, her. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Because this is Someone too said much. if she likes Rick and Morty, she's ready for yes. But yeah. I also liked Pretty Weird Things cinematically. and Stanley Kubrick. Uh -huh, yes. But musically, I just wasn't there. So I think it was a good choice. But this is amazing. This, this is, is so definitely... Trippy. I'm thinking of Close to the Edge, obviously. I mean, I love Close to the Edge very, 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 very is much. Is better? Um, no, I mean, this is just up there. Like, it's just as epic, I think. And um, it's very fun. I'm loving it. I don't know. Just all the different dun, sounds dun, and dun, the dun, rhythms dun. and um, that guitar solo or yeah. that guitar portion was amazing. It, just so soft, the dis the distortion and so clean that it was really nice. You know so you know so much <laughs> stuff. It, I'm really happy. I'm really happy. I'm Good. really blessed. Good. Okay, let's keep going. I love this. <laughs>
was a great solo. Wow. And now it's calm again. They move fast. They tell me. But I just can't believe they really mean to. Someone to tell. crazy how do you even come up with this stuff i mean how the hell do you come up with this stuff and then remember it yes i mean yes i'm a musician i remember long songs but, but like this every is ridiculous because it's never i mean there's like only the beginning and the middle section are like, like similar but everything else is just mm -hmm. all over the place mm -hmm. which is great i mean yeah it it's amazing <clears throat> though that's a good point because there is so much that happens and but it all goes together you know and yes it clashes but intentionally yeah, and yeah. that's the whole point of Prague is that this doesn't really go here but let's put it in there anyway <laughs> you right. know um and yes knows how to do that just so well i feel like i was part of like a religious experience or um i don't know just something out of this world totally um it felt really trippy. i like that underwater thing because then for the remainder of the video i was picturing them being underwater mm -hmm. so that was very cool but um very i love that i mean I, I can't really like go into specific parts i loved of course the solos that rick wakeman solo was that just was amazing wonderful. yep but the drumming all the times he was like doom to ba to doom to ba to doom to ba yes doom. Like all those time signature changes were insane. The singing, I don't know. I didn't understand anything. <laughs> but now, especially that I know that he sings stuff that don't make a lot of sense. Well, yeah, I'm totally lost. Dude. Yeah, but I love it. I just love how it sounds. It doesn't matter what he sings. It's like when we do Spanish reactions, you guys should totally chime in because sometimes, man. That music is really good. Even though you don't understand Spanish, listen to it. Yes, you know? yes. And that's like what 
what we say is that music is a universal language. So mm -hmm. even though the lyrics aren't there, the instruments are telling you a story and totally. it, it really goes so well. But wow, I really loved every part of this. I can't wait to listen to this again. The length was uh, an issue on my back, but not mentally. You know, I don't mm -hmm. feel like... Uh, exhausted or drained or anything yeah. i feel like some okay. other music can do that but yes yes is so i guess so ver versatile that mm -hmm. they always bring you back into like oh wow where I are agree. we now <laughs> it's like a little adventure i, I felt agree. like a little adventure it you know? did so. it did so the revealing science of god or dance of the dawn i loved it and this was 20 or this is 50 years remastered, ago but was this remastered by steve wills Stephen Wilson? Think so. we don't know but um, but the but the song is now 50 years old that's crazy that that's amazing. 50 years old that is amazing because 50 years old music sounded different in the 80s yes. you know when you heard stuff from the 30s yes that sounded pretty weird definitely you know? pretty old <laughs> And this sounds so fresh and new. Oh, my God. So we went on YouTube the other day oh. on the TV, and we saw this footage from 19, what? 1903, 1920? Oh, 1903. Remastered camera work with color and sound. We were, like, in San Francisco going up. Down at, like, a carriage. And, and, and there and are people there were looking at the and camera. And there weren't any, like... And people were just driving like this. <laughs> and everybody was just walking and trying to not get run over. It was chaos. No stop signs. No traffic lights. No nothing. street lights, obviously. People were literally, like, doing this and choruses. And it was chaotic. But it was, like, 15 minutes. And we were just watching it just in Mesmerized awe. Mesmerized. So... It. Yeah, it's a similar <laughs> feeling right now, but yes. um, this was wonderful. Thank you, Dave, for this request. Thank you, everyone, uh, for sharing this with us, for following our yes journey in general. Um, we appreciate you all because you lead us to these places. You make us go through these experiences without you. We wouldn't do it. You know, there's just not enough time to dive into everything that you want to and um I don't know. It's just very special for us. So thank you all so much. This was wonderful. Yeah, I really would like to watch some other people react to this. Mm -hmm. I would be curious what yes. they would say. Yeah. Because on maybe people that don't know about music that much, what yeah. would they think? Would they be like, this is crazy? <laughs> like, I don't know. I guess that's why they have so much success, these channels, yeah. where they have no background in mm -hmm. music or any, or they listen to only rap you know i would love to see what a person like that thinks yeah when you're just a yes you know? when you're used to that. to that to four four and just a beat you know exactly. and then you get this like alice in wonderland experience yeah you know? listening to pop and then listening to this listening to hip-hop listening to this just two different worlds like polos opuestos you know opposite Oppo opposite poles, poles yeah. uh so it's just wonderful um, to to be able to know what we know and then listen to this. Yeah. You know, we didn't dive even straight we got into stumped. this. Even we, we got stumped. Yeah, we did. Exactly. You know, exactly. so that's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. Not everything does that, <laughs> you know. So, well, thank you so much. Thank like you. Like Alexis said, you guys are awesome. And uh, we're going to go. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, so much. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a like. If you didn't dislike it, it helps us either way. Uh, but more than anything, if you consider subscribing, we'd love to see you in the next one. Thank Bye, you. everyone. Bye.